I'm going to ask a lot about protection spells. We're going to do an everyday protection spell that you can do. This is more from ceremonial magic than from Wiccan or witchcraft practice because it calls on the archangels. I call on the archangel Michael for protection. I call on the archangel Raphael for healing. I call on the archangel Gabriel for clear communication and the presence of the divine. And I call on the Archangel Uriel, put your hands like this in the cup, to bring me prosperity and to reveal any secrets. And that should be the last thing you do. And then you have a little protection for the day. You can do this every single day for a little protection. This is a protection charm bag that you can carry with you as a protection spell from evil eye, negative people, and negative energy. You will need three whole cloves, black pepper, salt, vervain, some oil, and a black cloth. Draw an eye on your petition paper, then write your name around it. Anoint it with rosemary essential oil, then fold it. Mix all the ingredients together, salt for protection, pepper to protect you from evil eye, three cloves, to push negative people away. Vervain purifies negative energy and protects from magic. Prepare your cloth. Add your petition paper and the ingredients. Then wrap the cloth with a red thread. you've been working on protection spells, let's take it up a notch and work on wards. Wards are what I like to think of as a little bit more of a permanent barrier around your home that don't need as much consistent attention. My favorite way to ward is with these little bad boys. These I sell on my Etsy or you can make them very easily. Selenite, cinnamon, labradorite, black hemp, and black wax, all of which highly protective. What's amazing, once they're made, you put them above your door frames or in your windowsills, and they act almost like a scanner, stopping the bad energies you don't want inside your house right in their freaking tracks. The best part is you really don't have to do anything with them once they're there because the selenite is basically charging and cleansing it as it goes. This is a powerful spell to protect you from any harm coming your way. If you suddenly lose your energy and feel so tired and unmotivated, this could be a sign of a psychic attack. Prepare your petition paper. Then dress the candles with olive oil. Carve on the purple candle your name and date of birth. Carve on each of the black candles the word protection. This candle is representing you or the person you want to protect. Here are three things to do when you know someone is sending you negative energy. Step one, send it back. Now you can choose to do this the nice way or the mean way. I always choose the mean way. Second step is to cleanse. Cleanse yourself, cleanse your space. Lastly, protect yourself. If you already have one or two protections up, put another one up, because guess what? It's never enough. And here's an extra one you can do. If you know who sent you that negative energy, do a banishment on them. Get rid of them for good. This is a protection amulet to protect you from any harm you may experience and to return it back to its sender. You'll need a black candle, small glass jar, or a piece of cloth. Start by dressing your candle with olive oil, then light up the candle. Prepare your petition. Burn the petition paper. We will be using the ashes in our jar later. Salt is one of the most powerful ingredients. Then, 
we're going to add the ashes from the petition paper. A reflecting object is essential to returning home back to its sender. Add three whole cloves. Rosemary. I added mint, but it's optional. Cinnamon for good luck. Cayenne pepper to amplify the spell. And a few drops of olive oil to empower the spell. Speak your intent into the jar. Visualize a protective shield. Then put the lid on and seal it. Keep it with you wherever you go. There are many things you can do to protect your main door from intrusion from unwanted energies and spirits. Here's how to do protection such a spell. The main door in the house is where the energies from the outside world, visible and invisible, enters your home and becomes your own. Many spirits like to hang out in doors and locking your main door doesn't block them from entering your home. You can place your broom upside down behind the door, hang a few bells or you can make a protection sachet. You'll need to hang this protection sachet on the doorknob behind your main door. protection tips part I don't know if you are able to when you are painting a room like how I did mine um your first layer of paint obviously in the color you're going to be painting the walls um paint sigils everywhere protection sigils make your own use some some of the good old classics paint them all around and then paint over them with the paint if you want to I like to mix a little things in my paint um I mix black salt into my paint here Speaking of black salt, make it. It's just salt and incense ash. I like to use, or ashes period, charcoal. I like to use um, the ashes of what I burn for offerings for my patron deities with their permission. Packs a hell of a punch. Buy those itty bitty baby jars, put protection spells in them, hide them around the house. They're like this big, easy to hide. You're gonna wanna look for herbs like rosemary, juniper, pine, mugwort, holly, ferns, fennel, cacti, ash tree, basil. Oh, I'm running out of time. Oh my god, there are so many spells. <laughs> but th something that's important, if you want to protect yourself, you have to cleanse first. Because you have to like get off all whatever whatever the negative energy is that's on you, the evil eye, the hex, whatever. It's, it's like taking a shower before you put deodorant on, right? You, If you stink, you gotta get it off you. Also, you can just like totally get rosemary from the store. You can get herbs from the dollar store. You can get salt from the dollar store. It's not a big deal. Witches are scrappy. Like you don't have to buy stuff. It's fine. So I add dried rosemary to salt and I'll just mix it all together like this. And then I'm gonna sprinkle the salt in the back of my house and I'm gonna sweep from the back all the way to the front of my house through the door. So I sweep that salt all the way out the front door. Why do we do that? Because we wanna cleanse the whole space. We want the energy to be clear before we protect because basically protection is kind of like locking in whatever's in the space. Then I go to all the thresholds, including windows and I sprinkle salt because salt is protection. Then I put evil eyes everywhere. I have the perfect protection ingredient, so listen up. This is going to be really good for um, spell jars. Pickle juice, fucking pickle juice. The top three ingredients of pickle juice is vinegar, garlic, and dill. All three of which are very freaking protective. And if you live life on the edge like myself, you can drink this shit for protection. Witch talk, it's witch mom. Today we're gonna talk about having a bad neighbor. So, you're gonna need a few things. Black candle, white salt, black salt, and a little cayenne pepper. If you have a particularly bad neighbor, you might wanna add sulfur, but that's only if they're really bad. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take the white salt and pour it, spill it, sprinkle it in front of your house, in front of your doorway. Take the black salt and the cayenne pepper mixed together and sprinkle it in front of your neighbor's doorway, specifically one someplace where they will walk. And you're gonna burn the black candle in your house and you're gonna say these words. Bad neighbor, you cannot abide this place. If kindness, you cannot face. If a good neighbor, you cannot be. Be gone, leave in haste from this place. Be gone from me.
see. How do I protect my aura? I've got you today. I've got you. There's a ton of different ways that you could go about this, but I think this one's pretty universal. The way, sorry, I'm messing with my cards, but the way that I'm going to show you. I like doing this first thing in the morning when I wake up. Right when I wake up, I like to stretch. I will say good morning to my ancestors and deities. I like to also say what I'm grateful for, um, whether that be whatever's going on in your life, the earth, whatever. And then I will start by envisioning, well, center yourself, ground yourself. If you like to meditate in the morning first thing, go ahead and do that. Um, and then still, you can just be in bed while you're doing this. Um, envision a bright white or slightly whitish yellow the crows are swooping by light starting right in the center of your chest or your stomach growing outward around you and it's growing bright and protecting you it's a, a literal shield around yourself and your aura now i like to set the intention for 12 hours or until i go to bed and then i'll reset it at night but that's like a really simple way to protect your aura right from there we can do talismans amulets you could do sprays cleansings i'll make a second